Hi, uh, this is Matt from AngryKoalaGear.com here with Ed Gale, who uh, played iconic characters such as Howard the Duck and, of course, Chucky, who uh, nobody could forget. Um, first of all, I just wanted to ask you what you think. This is a, a new expo that we got going on here. Uh, what do you think about Kamikaze so far? Um, I think it's it, for all the, all of the, the the convention I've been to so far it was the most smoothest run, uh, organized. Uh, there's, there's spread out. They, they they made the room for the people. It's awesome. Also, uh, I'm sure a lot of our fans at Angry Koala Gear would like to know uh, what was playing, what what was being Chucky like. I mean, Chucky is such a icon in horror. What was that like? It was, well, it was like my, only my third movie in my career, so I was new. I was still newer. The nice thing about it was uh, Chucky didn't exist, so it wasn't any rules to follow. Like, I can't think of a name, but Paul Bunyan or Santa Claus. You have, you have rules if you're going to play Santa Claus. You know, if you're going to play, you know, John F. Kennedy, whatever. Right. Rules of the look, rules of the walk, rules of the whatever. There's, there is no Chucky, so we didn't have that kind of rules. Plus, it was a first, so there was no such thing that we didn't even know. Because I wasn't doing a famous movie. I was doing a job. I was, doing, I was in a movie. I was doing a job. And then, obviously, the second one, we're thinking, okay, now we know who is what and what's who. And then, uh, you know, The Bride of Chucky. Then it was like, wow. You know, well, now, we're, now we can say we know. But no, the first one, we didn't even... There was no Chucky. You know what I mean? Um, being that, you know, like you're saying... Chucky was a new character, a new thing going on. Um, how would you like rate that ex that experience being Chucky uh, as opposed to you know your other projects? Like, how would you rate it? Um, not really sure, you know what, what you mean by rating it. But as far as um, learning, I learned a lot. Of course, I ha they hired they hi they had me work with a, a mime to move like the doll. Um, you know, the perseverance to be in a hot costume. But then again, I think I had Howard the Duck was the more because it was a 10-week contract. We shot for 10 months. But for Chucky, it was, like, more active, more violent. Um, it's just so hard to explain when you're in the costume. You, you, you mind, you're doing other things. You know what I mean? You're concentrating on, you know, not falling and you're not messing it up. I work 99% blind. We do, I do a lot of my rehearsals backwards and count my steps, so it's different. And then, you know, when I'm, you know, if you're on top of somebody choking them and fighting them, you're not on top of them fighting and choking them. You're on top of them trying not to hurt them, not trying to fall, but yet make it look good, hitting your mark at the same time. You know, it's, it's all different dynamics. You know, Ooh, what's it like to, I didn't, that's not what I did, it's what you saw, but it's not what I did. You know I mean? It's, it's really hard to explain. Okay. Um, uh, I guess the next question, uh, it'll be the last question, because I don't want to take too much of your time. Um, what, like, do you have, like, what, what is next like, for you? Are you going to be doing anything else in the near future? Um, I'm sure the fans would like to know. Um, as as the, all the fans know, of course, a lot of the jobs for, quote, you know, little people, costume jobs and whatnot are obviously... Um, what do you call it? Going to computers. In fact, they're redoing Chucky, the first Child's Play. They're redoing it called Child's Play, the reboot. And Chucky will be CGI as well. Uh, a lot of films are CGI. My last film was actually 2003, which was a lot of years ago. But I did television. You know, we did Bones and we did My Name is Earl and a bunch of, you know, uh, commercials. A lot of YouTube stuff is coming up out of the blue, which is a lot of the kids I worked with who were kids then are up doing their own movies. Yeah. And they're like, oh, you remember me from this movie? I played the so-and-so. And I go, well, yeah, I remember you. I'm doing my own little thing for YouTube. Would you want to jump in and help me? So there's a lot of that new stuff. But on the grand scale, I'm pretty much retired. But you don't, it's not like when you retire as a police officer or as a, you know, a postal worker when you turn everything in, you know, and you can no longer obviously carry a gun or you can't carry the mailbag. You are officially retired. As an actor, they can call 90 years old. And they call you up and they say, oh, we, we want to have you do, so you, you can't, you don't really retire, but I'm not actively pursuing. I'm not turning it down, but I'm not actively pursuing okay. it, you know. All right.
I'm doing the convention circuit for the past couple of years and loving it. Awesome. Um, well, from uh, our fans, uh, your fans, AngryKoalaGear.com especially, um, I'd just like to thank you. Oh, appreciate it. And appreciate your time. And uh, Angry Koala Gear, Ed Gale. Hey, Koala Gear. Check out my website, edgale.com. I'm definitely going to check out yours. And, awesome. Uh, hey. All right. Thank you.